Hello everyone. Now the next topic is T test for difference of means. Students T distribution. T test for difference of means. Now difference of mean. Uh, T test for uh, specified mean is over. Now T test for difference of means. Let x1 bar and x2 bar be the, the test statistic. What is the test statistic we will see and how to set null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, everything we will see and then we will go to the problems. Let x x1, x1 bar and x2 bar be two sample means of uh, two independent random sample size of n1 and n2 drawn from two normal populations having means mu1 and mu2. To test whether two population means are equal, to test whether the two population means are equal, then get a null hypothesis. Now like this, the given content will be like this. X1 bar and X2 bar be two sample means of independent random sample size of N1 and N2 uh, drawn from the normal population having mu1 and mu2 as means. To test whether two populations means are equal, then we have to set the null hypothesis as H0 as mu1 is equal to mu2. H1 alternative hypothesis mu1 is not equal to mu1 is not equal to mu2. Now if the two population variances, if the two population variances are equal, then that means two population variances are equal, then sigma1 square sigma. 1 square is equal to sigma 2 square is equal to sigma square. Then the test statistic will become S square, uh, S square is equal to 1 by n1 plus n2 minus 2 into sigma xi minus x bar whole square plus sigma yi minus y bar whole square. That is equal to if you simplify n1 uh, that is equal to you will get a n, a S square. That is equal to if you simplify n1 s1 square plus n2 s2 square by n1 plus n2 minus 2. n1 plus n2 minus 2. s square is equal to like this formula. The test statistics is given by this is s square. The test statistic is given by t is equal to x1 bar minus x2 bar by s into under root of 1 by n1 plus 1 by n2 uh, follows t n, uh, t n1 plus n2 minus 2. That is follows a student's t distribution t suffix n1 plus n2 minus 2 means what is the meaning of that? That is it follows a student's t distribution with n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom at certain level of significance that may be 5% or 1%. If calculated value of mod t is less than uh, is less than table value n1 plus n2 minus 2 table value then uh, accept h0 else reject h0 calculated value is less than mod calculated value mod t is less than table value then accept h0 otherwise reject h0 this is the test statistic Now paired t-test, paired t-test for difference of means, paired t-test, we will see the test statistic, paired t-test for difference of means. If the two samples of uh, same size, if the two samples of uh, same size and data are paired, then we take di is equal to x1 minus y1 and d bar is equal to 1 by n1 into sigma di. Then the test statistic t is equal to d bar by s by under root of n. t is equal to d bar by s by under root of n where s square is equal to 1 by n minus 1 into sigma d i minus d bar whole square. t distribution with n1 plus n2 minus 2 degrees of freedom at a certain 
LOS level, level of significance. This is the test statistic formula. DI is equal to X1 minus Y1 and D bar is equal to 1 by N into sigma DI. This is the formula S square is equal to 1 by N minus 1 into sigma DI minus D bar whole square. T distribution is N1 plus N2 minus 2 degrees of freedom at certain LOS level of significance. Now we will see the first problem. This is the formula. Paid T test for difference of means. First problem. problems first problem two years uh, problems two yawns a and b spin to the same count are tested for their strength the following results are obtained see yarn type Number of samples mean SD. A, B. Number of samples 9 to mean 42, 50 SD. Now, is difference in mean strength is significant? Is the difference in mean strength is significant is the question. Given, given number of samples N1 is equal to 9, N2 is equal to, N2 is equal to 2. Number of samples N1 is equal to 9, N2 is equal to 2. Mean x1 bar is equal to 42, x2 bar is equal to 50, SD, s1 is equal to 7.5, s2 is equal to 6.5, sd also is given, s1 is equal to 7.5, s2 is equal to 6.5. Set null hypothesis, h0 is equal to, set null hypothesis h0 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu2. Alternative hypothesis mu1 is not equal to mu2. S square is equal to what is the formula just now I told you. No? S square is equal to n1 into s1 square plus n2 into s2 square by n1 plus n2 minus 2. Now we, I have given just now that is the formula. S square is equal to this one. Test static is this one like this formula. S square is equal to N1 S1 square plus N2 S2 square by N1 plus N2 minus 2. If you simplify substituting all the values, you will get, you will get 65.64. That is equal to 65.64. Therefore, S square is equal to if you simplify substituting all the values. This is S square. Therefore, S is equal to 8.10. 65.64 is S square. S is equal to 8.10. The test statistic T is equal to formula. X1 bar minus S2 bar. X1 bar minus X2 bar by S into root of 1 by N1 plus 1 by n2 formula substitute all the values as s.8.10 and simplify minus 8 by 6.33 that is equal to if you simplify t is equal to minus 1.264 t is equal to the calculated value mod t the calculated value mod t is equal to inside of modulus if you put the negative value it will become positive 1.264 is less than table value Table value is, you will get a table value 2.27 in the problem itself they have given table value 2.27. Otherwise you check in the table T distribution at 5% of level of significance. At uh, N, uh, N, plus, uh, N1 plus N2 minus 2 degrees of freedom. Calculated value is less than table value 2.27. Then accept H0, accept H0. That means there is no difference between 
means there is no difference between means like this you have to do there and the matter problem is over the second problem see the second problem if you want explanation i will give you otherwise you can go through go through the problem an iq test was administered to 5% before and after they were trained results are given below candidates iq before training iq after training 1 2 3 4 5 like this data is given test whether there is a change in iq pro uh, program test whether there is a change in iq program we have to we have two uh, dependent samples n1 is equal to n2 is equal to 5 5 samples are there n1 we have two uh, dependent samples n1 is equal to n2 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 uh, and there is uh, there are pair together uh, these are and these are pair together due to cause of training these are paired together due to cause of training null hypothesis h0 is equal to mu1 is equal to mu2 alternative hypothesis h1 is equal to mu1 is not equal to mu1 is not equal to mu2 t distribution test, test statistic t is equal to d bar by s by under root of n what is d bar d bar is equal to sigma di sigma di by n this is the formula sigma di by n now d1 is equal to d1 is equal to 110 to 120 d2 is equal to 120 to 118 d3 is equal to 123 to 125 uh, uh, 110 minus 120 d1 is equal to 110 minus 120 120 minus 118 d3 is equal to 123 minus 125 D4 is equal to 132 minus 136. D5 is equal to 125 minus 121. Like this, you will get minus 10. This is 2. This is minus 2. This is minus 4, and this is 4. You will get like this. Sigma Di is equal to minus 10. If you add all these values, if you add all these values, minus 10 plus 2 minus 2 minus 4 plus 4 is equal to Minus ten. D bar is equal to minus ten. D bar is equal to minus ten by five. D i sigma D i by n. N is equal to five. D bar is equal to minus ten by five is equal to minus two. Now s square is equal to one by n minus one into sigma D i minus D bar whole square. That is equal to sigma D i minus D bar whole square means what? D i minus D bar whole square is This is d bar. D i means d d one. D one is minus ten minus of minus two. D i. This is d i minus d whole square. I am finding d one. Sigma means d one means minus ten minus of minus two plus two minus ten plus two is minus ten plus two is minus eight whole square. Eight square like this. Two minus of minus two plus two four two plus two four square. Now here minus two uh, minus two minus of minus plus two zero square. Now minus four minus of minus uh, plus six square. That is equal to if you simplify one twenty will get. That is equal to one by n minus one is five minus one into one twenty. That is equal to thirty. You will get uh, s is equal to s square is equal to thirty. S is equal to root thirty. That is equal to five point four seven double seven. Test statistic t is equal to d bar by s into under root of n. That is equal to d bar is 
to minus 2 by s uh, uh, d, uh, s by under root of n what is the formula s by under root of n 5.467 by under root of n under root of n is how much under root of 5 that is equal to minus simplify 0 0.816 calculated value mod t is equal to if you simply uh, if you put modulus minus negative also becomes positive 0 0.816 table value at um, 5% of level of significance is 4.6 for t distribution at 2.57 at 80 degrees of freedom is 2.57 therefore calculated value is less than table value calculated value less than table value then accept h naught that is there is no significant change in the program in the program accept h naught accept h naught we have got calculated value less than table value 5% of level of significance at 8% of degrees of freedom, if you see the table value of t distribution, you will get a 2.57. Now, calculated value is less than table value. Therefore, accept H0. Then, accept H0 means there is no significant change in the program.